Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic perform qualitative analysis. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP near future. So let's start. First of all, I will request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. <coughs> Friend, uh, risk, uh, whenever we talk about risk, is basically a uh, knowledge area in the uh, in the project management body of knowledge and uh, under the knowledge area of risk there is a process called as perform qualitative risk analysis this is a very important uh, concept or uh, process in the risk management which basically involved assessing and prioritizing project risk based on the probability and Im impact. The goal is to provide a qualitative understanding of the potential risk so that the project team can prioritize and focus on managing the most significant threats and opportunities. So basically concept is that uh, friend, uh, the risk means any uncertain condition in a in a project for which you are not sure whether it will happen or not happen if it happen it has uh, it has may have a negative or positive impact on the project if it has a negative impact we have to uh, we have to mitigate it if it has a positive impact we have to enhance the impact on the project now the every risk uh, basically has a likelihood and the impact likelihood means the probability that how many chances are there that it will occur and the impact means the impact on the project like in major impact minor impact uh, impact on the scope time cost etc on the project so based on the probability and the impact we prioritize the risk prioritize means high low medium that how much this is important to focus on managing the impact and what are the threats and opportunities related to that uh, risk actually. So the uh, qualitative analysis is basically based on the concept of probability and impact that means how many chances are there that risk occur and what is the impact on the project. So that is called as the uh, perform qualitative risk analysis of a project. So risk identification. Risk identification means begin with a comprehensive list of identified risks from the earlier identified risk process. These risks should be documented in a risk register. Basically, uh, friend, we have to identify the risk which is already uh, identified in the previous process of identified risk and uh, we start from the uh, risk register. Okay, so first thing is the uh, risk identification. Next is the risk assessment criteria. Risk assessment criteria means established criteria for assessing and evaluating risk qualitatively. Uh, that means common criteria include probability and impact. Uh, uh, that means probability means the uh, likelihood or chances of occurrence that this occur, this risk will occur, and the impact means the magnitude of the consequences that what will happen if that risk will occur. So uh, this is the criteria which must have to be established in this uh, area as well. Then next is the qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis means the assess each identified risk qualitatively using the established criteria. This involves subjecting, uh, evaluating the likelihood and impact of each risk on the project. The analysis can be conducted individually or collaboratively with relevant stakeholders. Use a predefined scales, for example, low, medium, high to categorize the qualitative and assessment of probability and impact. So based on that, once that for example first you have uh, identified the risk then you are basically uh, categorizing the uh, risk in the high low medium with respect to the uh, with respect to the probability and the impact then uh, risk prioritization uh, means that prioritize the risk based on the combination of their uh, likelihood and the impact like high priority low priority medium priority so based on the uh, uh, like the uh, threats and opportunities and the likelihood and the impact we basically prioritize the risk based on high low medium then next is the risk data quality assessment risk data quality assessment means <coughs> we will evaluate that how much the data is reliable and accurate which we use for the uh, risk assessment 
If data quality is low, additional data gathering and analysis may be necessary or you may have to perform the data, uh, perform, uh, assessment again. So the reliability and the accuracy of the information related to each risk is very very important and uh, the data quality should not be low in that case. Risk, probability and impact matrix. Use a probability and impact matrix to visually represent the relationship between the likelihood and impact of each risk. This matrix helps in easily identifying and uh, prioritizing the risk. So that means normally we use a matrix uh, for uh, the risk probability impact matrix. You can uh, imagine this matrix as a very simply the uh, you can think of this as a uh, Excel sheet in which the risks are mentioned and then the probability and impacts are mentioned. The chances of occurrence and the impact on the project. Then risk tolerance and uh, thresholds means uh, the uh, consider the project risk tolerance and predetermined risk thresholds. Determine which risks are acceptable and which require further attention or response. So uh, risk tolerance means that the level at which you can uh, tolerate the risk and the threshold means the level at which the risk will not be acceptable further. So this is the main concept of threshold and the tolerance. Then update risk register means the risk register should be updated uh, like include the assessed likelihood impact and priority of each risk. Update any other relevant information such as risk and risk strategies. All those things properly should be uh, updated in the risk register. Here friend uh, remember one thing that uh, risk register is a very very important document. Um, you should have a clear understanding about risk register either you are working in any organization or you are planning to give exam of PMP you must have to maintain you should have a clear understanding about the risk register. Then uh, communication. Communication means communicate the results of the qualitative risk analysis to relevant stakeholders. Ensure that there is a shared understanding of the prioritized risk and their potential impact on the project. So risk which we have uh, identified uh, the qualitative risk analysis based on the probability and impact it should be properly appropriately communicated to all stakeholders all the relevant team members uh, not only the uh, vendor side also the customer should be uh, properly informed uh, properly uh, informed about the uh, risk which are basically high low medium impact then further analysis identify the risk that require analysis or further investigation risk with high priority may warrant more in-depth quantitative analysis in the next phase of risk management so so from performing quality uh, qualitative risk analysis provides a foundation for making informed decision about risk response strategies uh, it helps project managers and teams focus their efforts on addressing the most critical risk to ensure successful project delivery so friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching